Sadly enough, there are not many teachers. We have very good teachers around the world, but the majority of people are preachers. So I've designed for you a document that will be shared by Karima, where you can find what I believe that you could do for the coming three years. A program for your aqidah, for your tasawwuf, for your fiqh, for your tafsir and your hadith. So, and then you will see uh, how, how each single one of them is divided into three levels. Meaning that this is something you can do. You can do it on your own, meaning, of course, you always need a teacher. But sadly enough, there are not many teachers. We have very good teachers around the world, but the majority of people are preachers. That means that you will not very often find people that explain a book from the beginning to the end. And if they do, they usually stop in the middle or in the first third. But on the internet, alhamdulillah, you have people who have committed themselves to explaining certain books. So what you can do is literally you take these books that I've shared with you. There is Aqidah Tahawiyah, for example. There's Asma'ullah, the names of Allah. And Al-Iqtisad fil I'tiqad uh, by Imam uh, Al-Ghazali, rahimahullah And so you can literally uh, look at it and then read it and if you then have a, have a question you look for a scholar who would like to answer your questions like every month and a half even if he gives you half an hour that's good enough the same with tafsir you have the tafsir al-jalalain to start with then you have tafsir al-sa'di now with with the difference in aqidah you're all aware of but it is one of the most beautiful tafsir jalalain tafsir al-sa'di and then tafsir ibn kathir now this is just the basics because they they give you the foundation for tafsir and from there onwards you can grow because there is no point in in studying tafsir if you don't understand the words and if you do not understand the general meaning. In hadith, it's the Arba'ina Nawawiyah and then you read it yani, with a sharh or you follow a sharh online and then you go to Riyadh al-Salihin and that's it because you're not going to become a muhaddith you just want to take from the Prophet والسلام, and within two years subhanahu wa my books inshallah about the sunnah of the Prophet والسلام, will be seven books they will be all be finished and then I will advise you to, to read them inshallah to make good use of them uh, and the same yani, for fiqh it's just a uh, method Mukhtasar, a book for beginners. You have to do this. There, you have no choice. Like in the Hanafi Madhab, we're going to do Al Mukhtar fil Fatwa. In the Hashafi Fiqh, we are going to do not Safina to Najat, but Metan Abi Shuja. And like this, I have explained everything that I think that you could, should be doing in in Tasawwuf or spirituality. The first book will be Min Hajj Al Abidin, which I have explained. You can find it on the internet, and then you will have the the you will have the what the the, the, the books of Ibn Rajab. Then the Hikam al Ata'iyah, then Madariju Salikin, and then Ihya al Madin. So, all of that is a complete package. So, and I gave some advice for the Talib al Ilm as well. So, that is bi idnillahi azza wa jal. Yani, some of the things that you can expect from Karima to give you. If they do not have your mail, then give them your mail so that you can receive that bi idnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala.